Ni hao. A lot of YouTubers talking about Total War Three Kingdoms. <laughs> you think you understand Chinese culture? That's why I can offer you. Come closer. Here's why I can Stop offer everybody. you special insights that you can get nowhere else. Okay. Firstly, I am half Chinese. Lol, am I right? <laughs> Wrong, Lamau. Secondly, my other half is German, meaning that I somewhat understand Total War. If you catch hey my man. Hey, thanks, Jesse. So far, the feedback has been great. Mm. I like it too. I like it a lotty karate. But that doesn't mean that there ain't no weird spelunky going on. You know what I love about this game the most? By far. I really deeply appreciate how it portrays Chinese culture. I find it respectful, I find it tasteful, and I fuck your mother. China is sort of underrepresented in terms of video game settings. Even though there's such rich lore. Cats and dogs exist. Europeans cute Americans cute Australians cute China. Fry that shit nigga. How many games have we had where you play Play some fucking retarded wizard in the forest. forest. Um, for me, it's so fucking absurd what retarded, retarded amateur, amateur idiots, idiots are playing the same shit out there over and over again. At some point, you'll get sucked. Right. right. You got all these legendary Chinese heroes, man. These 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 mystical personages. Cao Cao, Guan Yu, Xiao Hou Dun, Cao Yi, Liu Bei, Zhang Xiu, Zhang Xiang, Zhang Fei, Xiang Mi, Cao Tou, Cao Ni Ma, Kung Bao Jie, Xiao Hou Yan, Hong Hong, and all that bleeds over to the UI as well. You now have three seconds to guess whether the user interface is awesome or not. Go. It is simply outstanding. The technology tree. Oh. It's a beautiful Chinese tree that blossoms up like a beautiful Chinese tree. That is... But it doesn't end here, Guaylo. Each and every menu screen is a wonderful and carefully crafted piece of art that combines great accessibility with the Chinese culture. Wenhua, yeah? It's all stylized to perfection. Especially the family tree is so straightforward and just fun to play around with. Never forget that your emperor should have a wife so they can have offspring, uh, an heir to the throne. Um, I don't want to get too much into the details here, but of course you have to have sex, sex with him. him. You hold him down. I hold him down. Your face. My face. M face. Face. Face, face him. him. Yeah. Sex. Do I even have to talk about the real-time battles? What is happening in this house? <laughs> in Arabic, they say Daba. Stop your maskara. If you don't like them, you are out of order. It looks fantastic, it plays fantastic, and it's just so satisfying to beat an army that's so much bigger than yours. My strategy for winning almost every battle, yeah, don't tell other people, it's a bit of an exploit. I put the horses on the side, and then the horses, they, they flank. They flank, and then when the enemy is not expecting it, hop, penetrate from the middle. Crazy Biba from the Discord says that he thinks the AI kind of sucks. Well, that's the difference between you and me. When I play, this is my face. La, 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 la. When you play, this is your face. Why are you bullying me? Pathetic piece of shit. Also, I'm just not entirely sure if my audience should listen to you. I mean, are you famous? Oh, right, right. GG. I'm gonna out myself. I mostly play on easy uh, and even then I can just barely make it. I tried to play on hard for a bit and everybody just kept declaring war on me. The fuck, Paul? How is it even possible to win? Mm -mm. It's not easy. I found a pretty good way to circumnavigate that though. Whenever I lose, I just go, yeah, rewind time. Maybe you have heard that diplomacy finally works well. And? It's true. You see exactly what the other party wants to close the deal. And you can actually manage your relationships in a comprehensible and uh, transparent way. That's a huge plus, my dude. You have to manage your trustworthiness and your credibility. I'm gonna say my credibility is not always the best. It's probably because in the early game, I'm more like Rantoni respect your borderoni. To in the late game, I'm more like Rantoni... Total War has always been a very holistic experience. It's a smorgasbord, a uh, Sammelsurium of different mechanics that are supposed to intertwine seamlessly, like cogs in a machine or cogs in your mom's ass. If one doesn't work well, it drags down the entire game. And despite me not having played that many installments, I do think that they work very harmoniously here and create a very enjoyable, bigger picture. A little nitpick, the city building screen doesn't offer a direct comparison between what you got and what you get. 
Three Kingdoms offers so many scenarios to choose from. And just a little FYI, it took me 40 hours to finish one. On easy. Bitch, I'm silly! Now I will go on to complain a little bit, um, but I want you to know that if you're looking for a good game that combines real time with turn based strategy, look no further. There's so much content here and depth to sink your teeth in. But now, even though I did play Total War Warhammer back in the day, I gotta say there's one issue that they still haven't resolved to this day. Total War fans won't care about this, but I'm telling you guys, you are scaring a lot of new people away from getting into this franchise because the barrier of entry is so damn high! What the fuck am I doing with this thing? It is pretty overwhelming at first. The tutorial and the advisor don't really do much except making me so horny. It took me about five hours to kind of get it. Fans are gonna be like, just get good. Obviously, once you got it, it's that much more rewarding. But still, the next issue. I fully admit this is extremely subjective, but I am not scared of you, dog. I am psycho bread, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna rip it off like a band-aid. Historic setting? If you ask me, uh, not, not good. good. Believe me, not good. Compare this to all the crazy units from Total War Warhammer. Wow. You feel me? Fantasy just allows for so much more visual and creative variation, obviously. I feel like it's a lot more epic and ultimately also more fun. In ancient China, everybody kind of looks the same. They all look the same and I just realized that that is highly inappropriate. Bottom line, the armies just bore the hell out of me. Not their fault, it's by design of course, but still, SMD Habibi, deep throat this dick, la hast tez naga. <laughs> My last issue is that I really loathe the late game. It gets way too micromanagey for my taste. And although I said the UI is great, the strategy map on the other hand... Once the empire gets really huge, I can't really tell where my troops are, where enemy troops are, where the borders are. It's a little hard to keep track of things. Am I the only one who doesn't weigh a ton and doesn't need a gun to get respect up on the street? The colors should pop more. Like the fucking flags look all the same to me. What what the fuck is that? Is that Chinese? Okay, that, that is Chinese. No contrast, no color. Make it snappy. Make it spicy. Make the commander in chief understand what's happening on the map easier on the front lines. Case in point, why the fuck do I have to tap through all my fucking settlements each round to see where public order is too low? Do you not trust your leader? I mean, I'm asking you, yeah? Ich frage euch, vertraut ihr dem Führer? Amen. Thanks, Jesse. Why is there no option just to tell a settlement to focus on keeping public order up? Like automatically build shit that increases public order or food production or whatever. Don't make me micromanage that shit each round. Civilization does that a lot better. Randiga betcha. Alles klar. Good. Real talk for a sec. I work on these videos harder than mein Schwanz. And I deserve your love and technical support. So please go on Patreon to become part of the Patreons. And then you also get access to the Discord community, which has a bunch of benefits. Dietka, smatriv mai glaza. My eyes are red from all the editing. Jop tvayu mat, blyaz. My final rating for Total War Three Kingdoms is going to be a seven. <laughs> Only Chinese people will understand. Sink. Welcome to Reddit meme review. Hitler when Germany lost the war. <laughs> okay. The first time you enter voice channel in a rant on Discord. Pong, pong. Yeah, that's uh, There's some truth to that. Some of us don't know English properly. Ranton shows his secret pussy eating technique. It works. Look at this fan art, dog. Very nicely done. When your girl talks you into eating her anal canal and you low key enjoy it. <laughs> And look at this one. Oh, that's epic. <laughs> Mom leaves house for 0.001 seconds. Oh, yo. Slave owner demanding his workers respect his authority. <laughs> Todd Howard serving Trevor James a bowl of noodles and me in the background. Yeah, very nice. Keep it up, you little sh uh, uh, friends. And I think you're all looking forward to the nice music in the end. Roll it. Don't forget to like the video.